So, uh, like, hey, Reen, I understand you're trying to get, like, a good shot to open the video, but can I please just go home now? No. You will stay here forever so that I can easily zoom in on Reen's face. Hello, everyone. I'm ExtraCheesy87, and this is a Let's Play a Trails of Cold Steel 2, Part 46. In the previous video, we began our stopover day. It's a legally distinct entity from rest days. They're completely different. And we uh, talked about half of our bond events, talked to everybody in Celtic, all the regular people. We still got some, some bondy bonds left. It is a new day. I didn't only recorded the two videos yesterday. Um, I'm trying to remember. We did talk to all NPCs, I believe. So, what's up, Gaius? Let's look at that windmill off in the distance. Amazing, aren't they? The way that mill that wind. I wonder what led people to think of har harnessing the wind's blessings like that. And perhaps the wind's the reason this market's merchants are as resilient as they are. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say, Gaius. Now that you mention it, Machias, Elliot, and Fever had not in a windmill on the highway for a while. We could go and ask the farmer who owns it to let us take a look around if you'd like. I can't think of anything I'd like more. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Of course. They went to find Machias, who in turn introduced them to the farmer who owned the windmill. And once they had his blessing, they headed out onto the East Celtic Highway. That's the one they were hiding out in during their time here. That's odd. The windmill stopped. Yeah, maybe something happened? We should go let the farmers know about it. You gotta get the wind waker, dude, to make the wind blow. Hmm, seems to be a problem bought on by Aiden. You see that rust on the cog up there? That's stopping the blades from turning properly. Let's see. Is it difficult to fix? Eh, not at all. All it needs doing is replacing the cog and it'll be good as new. And it just so happens to have spares here for just times like these, so why will you need to go where anywhere to get them? Oh no. I just realized I took the step ladder that was here back at the farmhouse. I'm not gonna be able to reach the cog without it. I'll have to go back home and get it. Good thing Gaius is fucking eight foot seven. That won't be necessary. Reen and I could reach it if we work together, I think. Huh? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, this is pretty high, alright? You think you can reach it? Pretty sure, yeah. Just, you know, don't drop me. Uh, no promises. Oh, to be young again. Here you go, this here's the replacement cog. The blades will start turning again once that's in. It's working! It looks like it sounds like turbines are blowing up with the wind again. That would take a lot longer, not for your help, thank you kindly. Let me give you some freshly baked bread for the trouble. It was made with rye that was ground right here in this mill. Are you sure? Thank you very much. Where's my bread? I didn't see Reen received bread pop up. That was uh, delicious. Yet another one of the wind's blessings. Having the opportunity to see a windmill up close was a pleasure, too. Thanks for showing me, Reen. I owe you one. Likewise. Windmill kind of reminds me of you, you know? The way it just kind of stands there all tall and everything. R really? How so? Windmill stand. Oh my god, he actually said that! <laughs> Oh, that's like a great dude. A windmill stands tall and dignified, always in tune with the wind. There's also the fact that they provide for you in inconspicuous ways, kind of like you, guys. I guess I'm just realizing how reliable you are all over again. Thanks, I'm flattered, really. I'll do what I can to live up to that image. And then the guy just starts waving his arms around slowly in a circular fashion. We can't rely on you all the time, though. That's too much of a burden for one person, so let's do what we can. Together. After observing the windmill for a while longer, they returned to town. And that was some delicious bread. Seeing the inside of the windmill proved very educational too. Thank you for giving me the chance, Reen. That was a great time. Damn right, buddy. Elliot! 
Huh, so really the Fiona safe and sound. I shouldn't have to worry about her as long as she's with Dad either. Yeah, there's no guarantee that she won't run into danger in the future, but next to your dad's a pretty safe place to be. I'm just glad everything worked out in the end. It wouldn't have enough for you and Valimar, though, and the rest of our classmates, too. And, you know, I mean, Elliot, you didn't do as much as you normally do in the dog fight, but... That's fine. It won't be easy to repay you, but I'll be sure to help out as best I can. Come on, we've been through enough that you don't have to worry about repaying us. Just some time to rest for now. Oh, I know. While I'm here, I might as well go listen to that fiddle player. I probably won't get a better chance then right now, right? Maybe I should join him. You coming too? Might as well. That wide open area over there looks like it'd make for a good listening spot, shall we? We shall. Finland, dude. No, not bad, we men. Yeah, music at that is perfect for the grand market. Yeah, now I'm all jazzed up to work twice as hard. Oh, thank you, thank you. Please note the hat is open to donations. You do not donate. I, I will remember. Uh, wow, he's good. That performance is something else. Yeah, even I can tell just how good it was. It seems to have lifted everyone's spirits here in the market a little, too. Yeah, you're right. It's really incredible how something so simple can put people's minds at ease. Music really does hold its own unique power, doesn't it? I'd have to agree with that. Concerts like this one, and even our own, really can't make you realize how amazing music can be. Yeah, I feel like that fact's sinking in all over for me again. There are things that music can do that military forces can't. Just like how there are things we can do that no one else can. Rescue and Fiona is a good example of that as any. Exactly. Whenever we're feeling down, we just have to remember that we've got our own role to play in all this. We won't keep trying to find it while doing all we can to bring this conflict to an end. Yeah! It's like I've been reminded of the power of music all over again. As long as this war is going on, I want to find a way to make people's lives better. Does that involve uh, beating up bad guys? Of course. Like you even had to ask. Like anything will sate Elliot's thirst for blood. I spoke with the market manager and he agreed to let me use some of the stuff from the stalls that have closed down. I normally wouldn't have asked, but George said he needed materials for repairing the ship. When you're acting captain, you've got to work with what you're given. Please don't patch the holes in the ship with seeds. This saw looks like a bit much for her to carry on her own. Well, see ya. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. This should be plenty. Carrying it back isn't going to be easy, but I should be able to manage. I can take half of that for you. Actually, I should probably take more than half. This stuff's probably as heavy as you are. There's no way you should be carrying it all on your own. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're offering. Since you volunteer, mind doing something else for me, too? There's a bunch of unusable stuff here that I thought I'd take for myself, so if you wouldn't mind... You want me to drag this junk for you somewhere, too? If you think you can turn it into something useful, then sure. I was gonna sell it. Green cheerfully helped Toa sort all the usable items from the unusable items, and together the two of them carried anything worthwhile back to the ship. After that, they took the unusable stuff to the highway. There we go, already! Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say the same thing. It's like, she's about to start shooting? Is she, does Toa know how to blast? I mean I, wouldn't be, I mean, I assume she has some combat capabilities, right? Based on the fact that she did those field studies originally? This is like a setup you see on a firing range. Uh-huh, that's exactly what it is. This is the perfect opportunity for me to get some practice in, and you know what they say, there's no time like the present. Practice? What kind of practice? Just watch. That's an old gun, isn't it? A pretty big one at that. The design isn't like a thing, it isn't like your standard rhyme for production, though. That's because it was made at the ZCF and uh, Livrail, apparently. It's different from your average orbital gun in that it shoots art-based bullets. I guess the easiest way to understand is think of it as an orbital staff, but like in the shape of a gun. First our Argus units, now this. Technology continues to impress. I had no idea ZCF was even producing stuff like this. Prince Oliver, yeah I was gonna say, this is like Oliver's gun. Yep, yeah, right before you part of ways with us. It's a prototype too, so normally only people involved in its development would be able to get their hands on one. 
The prince must have some connections within the ZCF. <laughs> Lucky us. I bet at least I'd be surprised to hear about this. Well, it is a totally new invention. I thought I'd be okay with it just because of my experience using regular orbital guns at the academy, but it turns out I was wrong. So would you mind helping me out with some target practice, Serene? Uh, uh, sure. Can I ask what brought all this on, though? You're already the best backup we could ask for. It seems odd for you to be taking up a weapon now. Poe's thirst for blood cannot be, uh, sated. I was actually a bit perplexed myself when he handed this to me, but I think he realized what I've been worried about was my own lack of strength lately. You have? Sorry, I didn't even notice. It's okay, I've just been tasked with looking after the courageous. I can't rely on everyone protecting me forever. And this isn't some minor clash you've been swept up into either. This is a full-scale war in every sense of the world. If I can't look after myself, I'm just going to end up being a burden. That's the last thing I want, so can you see why I want to become strong enough to protect myself? This has really been weighing you down, hasn't it? It's not just that either. Like how Narsa specifically chose me to succeed him. He's trusting me to fill his shoes. To me, that makes it my duty to become more capable of supporting everyone in the Courageous. Well, uh, that's more than enough to convince me. If you got your heart set on this, then I'm glad to help you out. Let's become stronger together, Toa, along with the rest of the Courageous. Yeah. Oh, she blasted, dude. Also, she just wants to see uh, what it looks like to take a man's life. She may be small, but I don't know anyone else who works half as hard as she does. I'll have to do what I can for her sake, too. After joining her practice for a while, Reen leisurely walked Toa back to town. Thanks for helping me with all that. I feel like I still need a lot more practice where I could be of any use in a fight, but I'll keep at it. At the very least, I want to get strong enough to protect myself so I don't slow anyone else down in battle. Yeah, get him, Tala. I mean, I don't know if he'll be a part of me in this game, but I'm guessing you'll definitely be one in the future ones, if, if nothing else. Who's left? I know Machius is in the factory. Then I think Alfin was in here. And because we did Laura, Fee, Emma, Usus, Sarah, and someone else last video. Elisa. So all that remains is we did Gaius, we did Elliot, we did Machia, or we're going to do Machias. It was someone else. Am I forgetting? I don't know. Reen, do you get a bond event? Oh, you're in your school uniform. What's the occasion? I want to come alone to give my regards to the market manager, so I'm using this as my secret disguise. Putting this on reminds me of back when we first met at San Estrella. I am here. It really suits you. I'm just seeing it. I can't help but wonder if Elise is alright. I have a question, Reen. What's on your mind? Oh, on second thought, never mind. Should I ask her what's up? If there's something on your mind, you can tell me, your highness. It's okay. I'll do whatever I can to help. B really? Well, to tell you the truth, I've never had a chance to get really get a good up-close look at Kellogg's Grand Market. Well, I'll take the chance to do it, but... Is that what it is? Hmm, she's in her school uniform, so I guess you could get away with it. No problem. I'd be glad to guide you around, then. You would? Oh, well, uh, far be it for me to decline to gentlemanly offer. I mean, you kind of twisted her arm. Once she had finished her business, Reen and Princess Alpha had made their way to the Grand Market, together. But this is the fabled Grand Market. It's so lively! I imagine it must have been livelier before the war, but it's still rather impressive, I do say so myself. There's like four people here. I think that's all because of the merchants here. They work really hard to keep things going. Hmm, I can certainly believe that. Merchants are known for being nothing if not passionate. Oh my, there's a delightful smell coming from that stall. Let's go take a look! Looks like she's having fun. I don't think she's had many chances to relax in a while, so I'll make sure she gets the most out of her time here. Everything here is so delicious. I even had the pleasure of seeing the excellent worksmanship of Rayohard's craftsmen. It's just a shame I couldn't try out the much-renowned Celtic beer, too. You got a couple years to go before you start thinking about that. I was joking. Not really. I didn't notice the lack of merchandise from Western Erebonia, however. I suppose it's to be expected with the railway rail restrictions. Still, it's a bit of a shame. Yeah, it'll probably stay that way until the war comes to an end, too. 
I'm actually surprised you noticed the honey lady is like staring a hole in our head over there. Well, I am a member of the Imperial family. Oh, Reen, let's check over there too. Like, if we don't buy any honey, she might actually kill us. When is this damn war going to end? Sure, the Ventral Army's gone, but we're going to be struggling to make ends meet as long as this fighting continues. you got to wonder what the Imperial family's doing at a time like this. I haven't even heard one word about Prince Cedric, let alone Prince Oliver, ever since this all started. Word has it that his Majesty's safely tucked away in Heimdall, at least. Man, don't the nobles have control over Heimdall, though? So much for royalty, I guess. Doesn't mean much if you can't have an influence in a situation like this. Sorry, Your Highness. Well, there, you might want to take those words back. Apparently, Princess Alphen's behind the Crimson Wings that chased the provincial army from the Twin Dragon Bridge. Huh? For real? The Imperial family's probably doing what they can. Just because you don't hear about it doesn't mean it isn't happening. That's what you gotta believe in. We'll make sure the Grand Market's ready for when everything's back to normal. I mean, it sounds like a bunch of fucking, you know... I can't think of what word I was looking for, but... Shut up, nerd. Well, as fine as I... I was, I'm fine as long as the war ends, really. I gotta head back. Catch you later. Are you all right, Your Highness? Yes, thank you. It's no surprise that there are people who aren't happy with us right now. The fact that our efforts at the Twin Dragon Bridge alone were recognized is more than enough for me. That's very kind of you to say. I'm certain that what we're doing right now, what we're doing right now, isn't in vain. That's right. That's why we need to help doing whatever what we can. I don't want to let Father Cedric down, and Oliver is expecting so much from us that I'd hate to disappoint him. Exactly. Just don't forget that you're not alone in this. Uh, thank you. Hey, aren't you one of those kids from that military academy? Holy cow, are you Princess Alpha? Will you sign my feet? I mean, uh, this autograph? Uh, 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 holy crap, this isn't good. Oh, God. Well, it's flattering that you do mistaken for Her Majesty. I'm afraid you have the wrong person. Isn't that so, Reen? Uh, Reen, this is the chance for the ultimate flex, if you just say that she's Princess Alpha. That's right, she's actually my little sister, you see? Can't you see the resemblance? Huh, didn't know you had one. Gotta say, you don't really look all that alike. Uh, well, we aren't related by blood. Of course, there are some benefits to that. We can get married. No, no, you cannot. You what now? Gah. He's just so frigid. You know he only visited me at school once in a blue moon. Have you ever known a brother this cruel? And it was this time we were talking on the roof of Thor's, and then he said, uh, hey, thanks for raising me and all, but, like, I never want to see you again. It was really fucking rude. Uh, 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 I guess it is good that you, uh, get, get along so well. Yeah. Looks like we managed to avoid adding you there. You definitely overdid it, though. Not at all. Simply speaking from the heart. Elisa's heart. You try and visit her more often once this is all over? No, she needs to never see Reen again until she finds someone else to obsess over. I I'll do what I can. With their trip to the market over, a mildly flushed Reen escorted Princess Alphen back to the Courageous. I mean, there's was there anyone in the church? Oh, Milium! You're who we're missing. The Milster. Apparently they're going to hold a Sunday school class right here really soon. They did choose... They had those in the chapel, too. Right? And Trista? Oh, man, this is so cool. What are they like, anyway? Um, well... I mean, if you want the truth, boring as all get out. Wait, you never been to Sunday school? No, sir. You don't feel like I missed out on anything, either. Even if hearing about kids getting educated does make me think about the academy all over again. She said she doesn't feel like she missed out by not going to Sunday school, but she sounds kind of interested to me. If you're curious about Sunday school, why don't we watch one of the lessons together so you can see what it's like? Are we really allowed to do that? The church is meant to be a place for everyone. I can't see them kicking us out. Assuming you can stay quiet and not cause trouble for anyone, that is. Oh, well, uh, never mind. We can't do that. Uh, no problem. I'm the queen of quiet. A narrator voice and Millium was in fact not the queen of quiet? Not long afterwards, the children of Celtic began pouring in. It wasn't a long wait before class was in session. And by pouring in, you mean the three kids outside came inside?
Oh, all right, here we go. I don't like even younger than you, Million. Well, I'm a grown-up after all. Shut up. That's one massive stretch of the definition of grown-up you got there. In fact, you'd probably be in the classes for early teens if you went to Sunday school. Huh? Does anyone know the answer? Hmm. What's up, Susie? You stuck on such an easy question. You're so smart. Why don't you tell us the answer? <laughs> well, I mean, I could, but uh, I don't want to make you look bad. You tell her, Tran. I can account mirror that well. You know the answer, Lulu? Meow. Oh fuck, Lulu got it right. All right, all right, settle down. We're having this a bit too difficult. I know, I know. Is Millie my math genius? The answer's 273 reg. That's correct, but uh, who might you be? She looks older than us. Millie, what I tell you? Hey, what's the problem? I know I'll be going to Sunday school at my age anyway, right? Listen up, kids. I'm actually a student from none other than the amazing Thor's Most Hair Academy. How about I take the chance to teach you all as your substitute teacher? Excuse me? Now that sounds fun. Let's study together. Meow. She's as wild as ever, but I guess she's sort of helping out. With the sister you served, Millium took the role of teacher for the day. Green was worried at first, but surprisingly she ended up doing a stellar job of helping Sister Olive out. Well, except for the part where she almost gave Rian a stroke when she tried to introduce our Agathlon. All in all, the kids had a fun time with their lesson that Sister Oliver even thanked them. Wait, Oliver? I thought her name was Olive. Thanked them afterwards. I didn't know Oliver was here, you know, doing his thing. That was so much fun. Sunday school didn't seem so bad. Can we go again? Can we? Uh, no. I'm glad you enjoyed it that much. You weren't half bad as a teacher, too. You did almost ruin it by bringing our Getlam out at the end, though. I probably did so well cuz all that time I spent at Thor's. Everything you guys taught me ended up coming in handy. I kind of miss our classes there. So let's do what we can to end this war and get back to school. Yeah, yeah, we will. I mean, if you think about it, setting Celtic free was the first step towards that. So let's keep at it, Milliam. Roger. Yeah, we'll finish just in time to have one month of school left. Yeah, yeah, they just spell it wrong. You say the same thing. What were you doing? Where, where were you during Sunday school? That was pretty fun, but I still like the Academy better. I can't wait until we're back there. Okay, so we got M Machias last. We didn't talk to Alphen after we finished. Where'd she go? Did we talk to her after we finished talking to her? Where'd she disappear to? I don't know. Oh well. Um, Machias! Where you at, buddy? More of a shock because they needed some maintenance, so I finally decided to t bite the bullet and have someone take a look at it. Because, I mean, since you won't fucking buy me a weapon upgrade, Reen, seriously, I've been using the same weapon since, like, part 8, asshole. I'll be staying right here until I get it back, but once I do, I want to go out and thank some people. After everything the town did for us by letting us hide out here, I wanted to know their kindness wasn't taken for granted. Things are I really owe them. Maybe I should join him. Do you mind if I join you? These people did so much for us that I think they really deserve our thanks. Happy to have the company. They waited for maintenance to be finished on Machias' shotgun and then hit the town to start thanking people. And then Machias just waves his shotgun around and scares half the populace. Why are we thanking the kids? Kids have no autonomy over whether or not we stay here. Hello, Mikey. I've seen your friend, too. Thanks for feeding Lulu the other day. Meow. It's fine. I used to do the same for the cats loaded around my home. I decided, I hope you're still not bullying Susie, Jake. I mean, maybe I am, or maybe I'm not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Who cares about that, though? Come play with us, Spexter. Spexter? I'm not even wearing my glasses anymore. This joke makes no sense. How many times I need to tell you to have some respect for your elders? And despite the teasing, he seems to get along with them fairly well. Honestly, you kids don't know how worried I was when you never came back from Twin Dragon's Bridge. Thank goodness you're unharmed. 
Uh, sorry, we really should have gotten in contact with you sooner. We still can't thank you enough for providing us with food and drinks here while we were here. We'll be sure to pay you back in full one day. Don't you worry about that. You just focus on what you need to do for now. I'm sure things will only be tough from here on out, after all. Well, you want to thank me? Hey, no need for that. If you really want to, though, buy a newspaper or a tin. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> he never stops trying to win a sale, does he? Who are you two? Why are you in my home? There's no need for you to thank us. In fact, we're the ones who should be taking, uh, thanking all of you for everything you've done. No, not at all. Class 7 may never have been reunited, if not for your help of everyone here. For the help of everyone here? Oh, we hardly did anything of note. You're all students of my good friend Van Dyke, too, so it was only natural. I look forward to seeing how much you grow by the time this war comes to an end. Thank you, sir. We won't let you down. That should be everyone, I think. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting them all to cheer me on like that. I just goes to show how meaningful the time you spent here was. They all seem pretty happy about being free from the Noble Alliance, too. It's a bit too early to be celebrating. They could come back at any moment. Still going around and talking to the townsfolk has helped me better see the Celtics free for now. And I'm starting to see the power we have to help change things here in Erevonia for the better. Yeah, definitely. This is the only the start, though. It's up to us to set the heights we achieve. And I won't forget it. I think it did me good to see everyone again and finally thank them properly. I don't feel as though we've repaid them yet. We'll have to keep on fighting until we do. I feel like we have. I mean, all we do is we got to stay at an inn for one night. They copped us a hundred Mira. I guess the reformers really are the more amiable faction after us. So, I mean, I, I guess I can, like, leave? We talk to everyone. Double check. Let's send it. Could head back to the crate just now? Leaving so soon? Um. Oh, it's, it's Tommy Boy. Sure. <laughs> I see you remember me after all. That's quite the honor, Reen Schwarzer. Just who in the world are you? Come on, Reen, you should really recognize his voice. I'm aware how you've been supporting both us and Major Nightheart from the shadows, but you're a little too suspicious for your own good. Why do you know my name? What exactly are you trying to accomplish? <laughs> There's no need to be hasty. So I have heard that apparently uh, we get those book, the New Game Plus books translated by someone. Do we get them translated by Thomas, maybe? Since he's all into like ancient legends and whatnot. But the time has finally come for me to reveal my true identity to you. <laughs> Okay. Tis I, Thomas, your favorite instructor. What? I mean, not even close to a surprise, but uh, he has a it's last certainly name. It's been a while since you've enjoyed the bliss of one of my enthralling lessons, hasn't it? I trust you've been doing well. Why are you of all people here? Wait, no. The better question is, why were you in disguise in the first place? Because I am a secret god of a noble power. An excellent question. And, fortunately, one with a simple answer as well. You see, I simply wanted to avoid any trouble that might arise if anyone were to place me as one of Thor's instructors. I must be a master of disguise, because it worked so well that no one ever suspected me. Maybe everybody's just idiots. <laughs> I think I need a minute to process all of this. So you're the one who helped us back at the Twin Dragons Bridge? Indeed, twas I. My goal was to aid you as covertly as I could manage. But there's no need to lurk in the shadows any longer. I pledge my support, my life, my love. From now on, you can sleep easier at night knowing I'll be right there. 
isn't this all a bit sudden? Oh, I suppose it will be helpful to have another instructor on board. Especially considering Thomas is apparently a secret badass. After gladly welcoming their new allies on board, Reed and the rest of Class 7 took flight once again to assess the situation in Erebonia. <laughs> Upper rank you go! Here's a bonus from the Academy. Waterfall? Wow! That must have been tough! I'm so proud of you, Reen! Oh, we got everything. Guess that means there wasn't bonus AP for the dogfight? Which, I mean, what kind of makes sense because it's just like a regular fight, but like yeah, the past major boss fights have all had AP. But I mean, I guess those are also against like important characters. Oh my, this ship is simply spectacular. There's something to captivate the eye at every turn. I've been dying to boil the courageous for quite some time now, so seeing it here is a dream come true. Oh, right. All my dreams were dashed the second I heard this plane that suspicious man turned out to be Instructor Thomas. Uh, I know how you feel. So much of our super cool action hero. I don't know, he always comes across as an airhead to me, but maybe there's more to him than I thought. Instructor, what exactly made you leave, Trista? Actually, it was Principal Van Dyke. He wanted me to look out for all the students who had fled the academy. Make sure they're alright. Covertly lend them a hand if they were in a pickle, that sort of thing. Really? You know, it was through the principal that George and I were able to reunite with everyone, too. The more time goes on, the more people we realize have been looking out for us. Tell me about it. We have so much to be thankful for. Make sure you never forget that. Regardless, you're now taking care of things at the Twin Dragons Bridge. I propose we resume traveling around and gathering information. Works for me. And thanks to our operation being a complete success, we should be able to land at Celtic and the bridge too. But like you just said, let's get back to gathering information and helping out those in need. You got any more requests for us to knock out? Yeah, Princess Oliver sent along some more, so feel free to take a look. Soundor Bass here has been a host. Oh, okay, so that was uh, that dialogue back in Ymir was a prelude to a real quest or like a non-secret quest. Just getting warmed up. Terrible news, Reen. A malevolent worm has swallowed to a hole. What will the courageous do without its darling marshmallow mascot? Okay, I mean maybe I made that up, but just think, what does she have been swallowed? You better surely do your best to kill that monster, no? Oliver, aren't you busy? I like to put your divine knight skills to the test. The opportunity presents itself. Meet me in the main corridor of the Twin Dragons Bridge. Okay, I'll make a mech out of you. That's a fantastic title. Whoa, we've got all kinds of different ones this time. I certainly wasn't expecting to see one from Major Nightheart, especially one involving Valimar. I wonder what he wants. She'll elaborate once we're there. If we can take care of that in the extermination request, we should be okay. Oh, these all look like so much fun. Can I come this time? Can I? You do know this isn't a game, right? I mean, Milliam, you, it is, it's your time, so yeah, you can come. Well, it's not like she can't hold her own in a fight. Why not? Anyway, let's get started. It's simply not possible to remove Milliam from the party. Oh, no. Okay, so I, I made a, oh, she even got a, oh, they, they get, like, caught up level-wise. Or wait, I guess maybe, the, no? Because she wasn't in the party, and I think Elisa was only, like, 72 last time. I mean, we did get boss XP with her, but... Who do we want to bring? So, last section we mainly used a lot of Syrah and Gaius. Let's bring Laura. I do like Sarah a lot. I mean, I like Fee, but, you know, I still feel like she's, like, kind of broken. Because, <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll probably go more of a more of a physical draft with the million being forced in. We got Machias. Got Sarah. Got Fee. I mean, they're all kind of the same level, so that kind of even things out. Well, we didn't really use Elisa all that much, and we used her a little bit. 
It's a hard decision. There's also Gaius. We use Gaius a good bit, so we're not going to use him. Alright, fine. You have to stay in the back line, though. Now stop by Becky's Trade Shop. At this uh, shop, some goods can be exchanged for more rare or valuable ones instead. Items that have been missed in previous chapters of the story are occasionally available to buy as curios, too, so be uh, sure to check back frequently. We'll work on actually like setting everyone up. We probably don't need to do it this video, but... I think having Milliam in the first slot's maybe the, the worst thing possible. Gosh, she's just got no fucking HP, man. And we can give her some to kind of... Like we can give her some quartz and stuff to maybe help that a little bit, but like... 8,000 base is so bad. I mean, some regular attacks will maybe just straight up one-shot her. You really got in the hang of this observing thing. I know, right? I don't know what it is. Some stuff just comes naturally to me, like pulling pranks and pulling pranks. Give me a few more days and I'll have the scoop on all kinds of naughty excavates happening on the surface. I just wasn't designed to help you peep, you know. is actually a pretty good choice for an observer. She's still pretty clearly pretending to be cheerful, better than sulking around everywhere. Maybe. Just you wait, Reen. A few more days on the job and I'll have details on every naughty secret and going on happening down below. We were given this ship to help people not invade their privacy. We'll be able to stop by and visit Celtic and the Twin Dragons Bridge whenever we want now. Just remember, you can never be too cautious, especially somewhere that's been recently liberated. Now that the 4th Armored Division has a new base at the Twin Dragons Bridge, it should be easier to coordinate with them. I know we're trying to intervene as little as possible in the war, but it can't hurt to know they've got your back. Rescuing Fiona is its own reward, but I also feel as though it helped give me a much-needed confidence boost. We made a real contribution to the war this time. It feels like we'll actually have an impact on the fate of the nation. Just, just think, next time I start losing my nerve, I'll think back on this and how strong we really are. We know that the 4th Armed Division has moved their base of operations to the Twin Dragons Bridge. They've taken Fiona under their care, too, so it seems like things have finally settled down for now. I have to admit that if I'm ever losing confidence in myself, I'll just think back on what we did here. Since this war broke out, I haven't had any time to practice anything on my own. My archery is still sharp for obvious reasons, but my cross skills have gotten down the drain. I can't wait to get back to the academy and start playing again. Our club was great for that. We had to compete with each other and encourage each other to get better instead of focusing on ourselves. That's why I want to take Thor's back as soon as possible. I want my life to be like that again. Now you're talking, Elisa. But if you want to do that, you're going to need a whole lot more practice. You better keep it up. Right. I'm barely the chance to do any lacrosse practice since the war started. It's hard to practice lacrosse with other folks without other folks to practice with, though. Man, I miss Theracia and Ferris. Ah, it feels out of practice, though. I want to swing my stick around. We don't have overdrive, so we can't beat this, but I just want to try it real quick. Because then there's like five of these fuckers or something crazy like that. Why I'm called the purple light. Okay, Machias going first is like it's truly incredible. Turn. Time very right. Okay. No, you're done, my turn. Eliminating targets. Right. Keep it up, everyone. Gotta sleep. Doesn't really accomplish anything, but Okay. Eliminating targets. Got it. You're mine. Yeah, we should have had Sarah boost her strength. Time very right. I'm just getting warmed up. I kind of forgot she could do that. What? Listen to my song of healing. Okay, if she gets, like, whacked one good time, she can maybe... Crit. You're mine. Whack her. 
Too slow. Now. You're mine! Oh, no, 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 I hit the wrong button. No, fuck. We didn't get any feints anyway, but... You ate heat Here I go. We do have overdrive between... B and Sarah now. Okay, never mind. She... We actually had him. I think that was actually a win. If I hadn't have hit the wrong button on my... Like, I didn't mean to S-break on my... I get so fucking mind-flooded because every time it's a different, uh... Like, direction, right? Because, I mean, your party members are rarely in the exact same spot. Um... And, like, you have to do it so fast. But honestly, like, I mean, that was the god start. Stay on guard and don't get cocky. Okay. I'm bringing this up. Nice. Eliminating target. Got it. I'll set you up. Like, just don't kill. This, this can't be happening. If you can just survive the burst at the start. I've been paying attention. Okay. Cut. I really don't think the fight is all that bad. I mean, that's, I think that's the reason why Overdrive is OP. It's just that it lets you kind of... Uh, get through those burst sections. Let me show you why I'm called the Purple Light. Uh, Too slow. This can't be I happening. Because, I mean, really, this fight's, like, completely luck-based. Like, there's no... I mean, there is some strategy involved, right? I'm not going to be completely uh, obtuse and say that. Like, there, there's things you can do to minimize the luck element, but if they all do the AoE attack at the first turn, there's literally nothing you can do to survive. Like, it, it's actually functionally impossible. Okay. okay. Like, this is a fantastic turn order. Eliminating targets now. I'll set you up. Leave it to me. I'm bringing this up. As long as Machias doesn't get confused. Oh, please. Leave this to me. Fuck. We got double. I mean, we could equip stuff to minimize confusion, but. Yeah, because they're gonna. This is unbelievably bad. Like, this is. You can't. Get out of this. Arcus activate. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. I almost wish we hadn't have done so well on that first that. attempt. Leave this to me. Eat that. This should have been this can't be happening. I don't know why there's a retry button. Watch out, guys. My turn. Eliminating target. Guys. You're mine. Ah. Ah. Too slow. Machius. This, this can't be happening. Why are you so ah. cosmically bad? Ah. Too slow. This ah. Ah. I'm sure I'm I'm paying attention. So All right, fine. Why am I doing this? Like, Machius, you're just, like, there's no excuse for you being this bad. Like, why do you have no frickin' HP? I mean, you don't need Laforte here at all. Waterfall, damage for every lower, every level lower, that is tr trash. Um, get that out of here. Like, that, that has to be, like, the worst courts in the entire fucking series. A 5% damage? I mean, it, aren't enemies, like, always higher level than you? Like, even without grinding? Or even with grinding? Like, aren't enemies, like, always going to be higher level than you?
I don't want to... Okay, equip. They don't seal or mute. You just need anti-confusion. 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 Granny, you also need anti-AT delay, but... I mean, you actually need CP a lot. So I think we just have to hope Sigurd doesn't get confused. Hostile spotted. I'll handle it. I know in theory isn't the best strategy. Too slow now. I'll back you up. Why is V sometimes linked with Elliot and sometimes linked with uh, Sarah at the start? I guess maybe because they were picking? I don't know. Like the order we're picking them in? It's, it's really... Like links in general are unbelievably wonky. But I guess it's because they're not like... Since these aren't members we have set up... Here they come. Stay already? To me. Like, just fucking stop. Bringing the th <laughs> Should've been paying attention. You can't give them three statuses, man. I messed up. You can't let them faint, confuse, <laughs> and this AT delay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. Like, I, I can't protect against all of them. It's so dumb. I just, I don't get the obsession with the stat base or status based combat. Hostile spotted. My turn. Eliminating targets. Leave it to me. I'm bringing this up. Don't you slow. This, this can't be happening. It's not over yet. Too slow. Should have been paying attention. I messed up. Maki, it's just fucking go. I'm I'm sorry, everyone. I mean, the day Maki gets to go early again is the day we win. I hate you, Elisa. I hate you right now. Stop being the first person. Okay, we lose. Too slow. This, this can't be happening. Should have been paying attention. I messed up. Take this. I'm, I'm sorry. Everyone. Why is there no retry button? Why? Why would you not put a retry button in your game? I, I hate you. I hate you, Elisa, with a burning passion. Spotted. Okay, if Machias doesn't fucking die, we win. God damn it. Attention. Right. Leave it to me. This, this can't be happening. I messed up. And he this needs the gladiator bad. belt. I'm, I'm sorry. But I can't get rid of that because we need at least three burst drives to get off. Watch out, guys. Okay. If Machius doesn't fucking die, this is an incredibly good start. I'm the <laughs> oh, oh, Are you okay? Thanks. Right. Time period. Right. It's my turn. Keep it up, everyone. My turn. I mean, it's like stealth on Fee is like it's actually like so it's almost counterintuitive because since she has such high evasion, you want her to get hit. Eliminating targets. 
I'll back you up. Leave it to me. Also, stop linking with Elliot. Now's our chance. You're done. You need at least, like, you only got one faint. Are you kidding me? This, this can't be happening. Why is there not a retry button? And okay, last one. La one, one good one. Because, like, I really don't think it's, like, hard in the slightest. It's just you have to get, like, ungodly lucky. Enemy sighted. Let's take him out. This isn't good. Because Machias blows donkey dick. Eliminating target now. I'll bet you up. Okay. Stop linking with Elliot. Listen to my song. Leave it. it to me. I'm bringing the th Too slow. Got it. I'll bet you up. Didn't I literally just unlink you? Am I insane? Because oh, I feel like I just oh, unlink you. Oh, oh, my turn. Now's our chance. I'll back you up. It's my turn. Listen to my song of healing. <laughs> you have to faint. Okay. Yeah, this can't be done. Keep it up, everyone. I messed up. I mean, like, I, I can't be done, obviously, because I mean, we would have won that first yeah, attempt. I'm sorry. I just hit the wrong button. Because if we had that extra burst drive, I mean, we could have been able to get an extra alt off. We could have got more rounds of faints. I mean, there was so much things we could have done. I hate you, Elisa. Hostile spotted. Handle it. I got no seat. Time to revive. Bye -bye. Don't ever fucking talk to me again. I'm relieved to be able to put an end to my father's foolishness. However, I'm also relieved that there were many in the Venture Army who felt the pangs of guilt at having to obey his orders. Well, the Venture Armies are all about pride and elegance, or at least that's what they like to think they're all about. Like, I, it's not even, like, it's just do it with overdrive, nerd. Like, just do everything with overdrive. Quit playing the game without overdrive. Um, I think they realize that. It's difficult to believe my father was so foolhardy as to not. He seems to grow an impatient, and that impatience is only growing more pronounced by the day. I can't help but wonder what my brother thinks of his behavior. Well, no point in getting too worked up over it. If he does something stupid again, we'll just have to mess, with it, mess it up for him like we did this time. Yeah, she's right about that. If someone's uh, planning uh, something we need to uh, step in, that's exactly what we'll do. That's what we have the courageous for, right? That strikes me as an overly optimistic outlook, but I see your point. Regardless, as much as I like to think he'll calm down, I doubt we'll, have, we'll be that fortunate and we'll need to remain vigilant. Also, we should probably end the video. Uh, user just needs to relax. So I'll keep everyone safe if it comes down to it. Piece of cake. Also, having max CP on everyone at the start would be helpful. If only there was an easy way to do that. I don't count flying to Ymir as an easy way to do that, by the way. Um, if anything, I think it's incredibly tedious. But, uh... Because, I mean, you gotta, like, we gotta go to Toy, talk, talk to her, gotta do the flying animation, then you gotta go to you, Mira, then you gotta walk to the Phoenix Wings, then you gotta do the bath animation, then you gotta walk back, then you gotta get back on the grade, then you gotta go back to the right floor, and then you can refight the thing of Max EP. Like, it's just, it's too much. Just let resting count. Like, I don't know why the game is so, like, opposed to the idea of you having CP before fights. 
It's so weird. Because, like, so many of the fights... Yeah, going back to, like, Trails in the Sky 1 are balanced around it, you know? The idea that you'll, you'll have your S-breaks right off the start. Because, I mean, some of the fights are, like, literally built around it where bosses will first turn one-shot your entire party. Like in Trails 2, for example, which is why... I, or Trails 3 as well, where that's why Kevin was, like, the most overpowered character in existence. It's because he's, like, your main way to protect against just getting one-shot on the first turn. But, um... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Weird side rant. I'm ExtraCheesy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.